most of the people posted me about uh, uh, hey uh, Kant, how you done your career transition uh, uh, into data science or into machine learning or into deep learning what I'm currently working on uh, so I just want to share a snippet of idea uh, what uh, penetrated into my brain to do a career shift I think uh, for every person uh, when they start with a career I think uh, the most challenging part is so the very first step going to be like we, would, we uh, start our career with a very low pay skill and then uh, we keep on uh, we, we need to give a good amount of effort in order to stay what we are standing now the position what we are getting is all about the aggressive hard work what we done all these years so when I started my career I think uh, I been into Six Sigma majorly so from that point uh, the only option I have in, in me uh, so we can say like the only option with me at that point is so either to do a career shift towards data science or to stay with my current career what I'm having so if I stay with my current career I think uh, I can't see a great uh, growth out of it and not only that, I think uh, I have various dreams. I think everyone comes with a financial background, so which uh, we need to overcome it. I think we can't depend on our parents or we can't depend on anyone else. So we want to create our own uh, reality over here. So in lines of career, I used to believe only on one point. So uh, I want to create uh, my own kind of mark in this world, what I'm here. So I think whatever the marriage life or whatever the career, we are, whatever the life goes on, I think one of the major part of a life is uh, nothing but the career. So what type of career I'm choosing, I'm pretty clear and uh, precise on it. And when I'm choosing this, uh, I'm pretty fear so whether I need to take a step or not. So the only one thing uh, rotating in my brain is whether I need to go with data science or machine learning doing all the risk or to stay with this uh, career which may not lead me towards happiness or which, which may not lead me towards any great impact on my career life. So only two options I have. but fear is overcoming me so fear is uh, playing a crucial role and saying uh, hey this is not the right step don't go for it so you don't have the time so uh, you need to prepare very hard so you don't know anyone so it's very initial time you're moving into it no one gonna help you for sure I can trust that so no one gonna help you but uh, I can see only one thing uh, is uh, the only option do or die means uh, die with uh, your dreams so die, die with uh, all your uh, imaginations of your career or uh, do it that's the only option I have so you think about a fear I want to die with the with, with all my dreams what I have in my brain or I just want to break the fear and I want to overcome it and I want to do the things what I'm planning for my career so only two options what I have in my career whether to do or to die with my dreams so this is what just acts as a boost to me this is the fuel this is the catalyst which is driving me each and every single time so, uh, when I plan for do or die the fear uh, is just overcoming it so I'm just planning so uh, where I need to join how I need to prepare and all these things so and when we do a career shift everyone uh, would end up with one of the confusion saying that they can't give the time majorly so even when I'm doing my career transition I think uh, I always take inspiration from various people majorly I take inspiration from athletes or I take the inspiration from the military people why I do this inspiration is so either if you go with a military person or with an athlete they spend uh, aggressive time so uh, they put down all the effort uh, in the beginning and after giving so they don't think about whether it's gonna happen or it may not happen but they just give all the hundred percent effort so until they achieve it they may not take the rest in the similar pattern uh, I pulled out 
out the inspiration so my office timings range between this time to this time so i thought of so why uh, why to look about the fear so if i think about a future i going to end up with a fear so uh, I plan something like I just want to rip myself so I want to just move out of my comfort zone so I just want to start somewhere around uh, uh I, I just want to work why in the sense I don't have the money and uh, no one going to support me for if I just quit my job no one going to pay me for my bills and all this so I thought of continuing my job and I want to spend all this time so I just cut down all the contacts with my friends or with my relatives or with my uh, you whatever the persons who are connected with me i just cut it down all the contacts and i just focused only towards my goal right so now what i'm standing here it's all about the continuous effort i give uh, the more uh, i so even i don't relax now why in the sense uh, if we relax now i think uh, we may not see the beautiful things out of it i strongly believe in one thing if i am full with my stomach i think if i feel this career is sufficient or if i feel getting a machine learning job is sufficient so i may relax at a point so even most of the people do the same thing so they relax at while you are preparing or you relax while you are doing a job but uh here you born here so i think there are some crores of people in this world so uh, we born everyone born i think uh, we start studying uh, we try for a job uh, we marry we get the children we marry them right and we die so everyone follows the same kind of lifestyle so i don't believe in i think uh, rest of the things remain same for all the crores of people but only one point what changes or what makes a person remarkable in this entire society is your career what you are choosing right so uh, even in any career so i don't believe in uh, you need to be only a machine learning person or you want to be only a doctor or you want to be an actor but i believe in one thing so take up any skill what you are interested in do it to the core i think you can see amazing growth in your career you can see something remarkable and you can leave your legacy in this environment that's what i believe strongly and uh, majorly i think uh, even i'm not from programming background purely i'm a mechanical grad so from mechanical i moved to six sigma and uh, starting machine learning i think uh, i knew only r programming or i knew only python uh, so the challenge with r or python is i'm not a programmer i can't correlate anything uh, purely so i am doing this programming so people are saying you want to build a model like right? strange uh, even what is meant by a model? Uh, I don't know this pretty terminology. So uh, I think uh, you have regression. I don't know regression. What regression is? So they are saying uh, even I don't know anything about uh, pure about the product building in a software industry. How we build a website and all this, right? Uh, so I think uh, I felt various challenges. So uh, rather than learning statistics, machine learning. python all this uh, first i want to neutralize my brain my brain is not purely neutralized so why in the sense all the confusions are rotating in my brain for example if a hr came here and asked what is your profile i know the skill but i can't explain him to the core means i'm not comfortable while i'm learning the things so i thought of first let me start with understanding entire software architecture how the roles are present how a software person do all these things i feel figured out everything i created the mind maps then i looked into machine learning how exactly this machine learning going to fit into an it industry so why it is required now so from that point i drill down towards the root so when i looked into the roots i am able to see okay statistics is important to build this models all right so you want to know some knowledge about databases okay that's the root so you need why doing programming i got that figure so what is meant by a model after getting a model so always there is a question you are getting uh, you are doing x train y train all this you predict a model you test it but there is a confusion in my brain after training and testing what we do so to fill that i understood okay after testing we deploy the model oh i got a picture so this is how 
I all the confusions in my brain I neutralized and then I moved into the industry and I tried it then I can go deep so the major problem with the fear is you think about the future and you care you don't care much about your confusions when you neutralize your confusions in your brain i think uh, you can achieve your dream so i strongly believe in so always the fear overcomes you so even it overcomes me so it overcomes all the people in this universe right so the only mindset so what you want literally strong or what you require to the core to your heart is what you can achieve it so in case if you're not uh hustle towards the in order to achieve it i think we're going to end up with a game so i can't do it or you drop it or you give excuses or you blame someone so we just need to overcome all these games and we are accountable to our growth and we are accountable to our achievements and we are accountable to what we are today so if you want to shape your future you want to move out of your comfort zone so without paining yourself you can't achieve a success towards any career not only career anything in the life it requires a damn pain right that's what i strongly believe in so this is what my transition is all about let's see how your transition going to happen i think 